Okay, I hate it when this happens, but I got a very rare eye off camera. A bat's head. You can see it on my head right now. It's it's looking pretty majestic, but I did get it off camera and I'm I'm sorry. I was just caving with a fellow PP. I was helping him cave. He died a couple times, so I was trying to retrieve his stuff. And then a skeleton killed a bat and the bat dropped a head. Perfect timing. I know. It was it was a very, very cool sight, but I wasn't recording, so mmm. But that's fine. Cause when I came back, I set up this creeper trapper. Why, you ask? To trap creepers and get a music disc. I succeeded once. So I have three music di discs. The other two were given to me by a fellow PP for free because um, they're, they're just nice. I spent a diamond on jukebox, 100% worth it. J j I mean, just listen to this. You are not getting my music disc. I've just been farming a lot off camera. Uh, just logging in occasionally, just harvesting them and replanting. The wheat's stuck behind my chest in the fence. That's always a fun 20 seconds of my life. But guess what? I logged on today, and guess what I see? This. 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 This, this monstrosity. It's ugly as well. Who built this? And why? I totally did not have plans for this mountain. It's okay, keep the ugly mountain. No one wanted to build there anyway. No one wanted that that ugly mountain uh, anyway. So just just keep it. You and your ugly cobblestone staircase with above the top of the mountain. I even started terraforming the mountain. I, I like pulled down three layers. There's an economy in, in the server now, uh, a sick economy. So the way that you earn money from the government or server, that is, there is no government. It's a democracy, but everyone rules. Okay, so the way you earn money is you sell ores to the server. Now you can do that using the slash sell command and you'll earn dollars based on that. Then you can spend those dollars on shops that are created by fellow PBs. For example, I created a cobblestone shop here that you can buy a stack of cobble for $10, sell them for $5. So yeah, these, these chest shops are amazing because um, no one can just steal off of them. And because this is a public server, that is an issue always. So do you remember the donkey from the last episode that I tried to kill but failed in doing so? Yes! 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 Let's go! You're killing me, but it's 100% worth it. Let's go! Donkey! No, you're not killing donkey! Die! Die! Alright, so donkey is my best friend now. I love them. Priority number one today is finding a village because I do not like to have diamond armor without mending. Last time, last server I got lucky because there was a massive grinder part of the server and he got like a whole library full of villagers with like all the enchants, which he just lent to me because he was just nice like that. This time, there are no tryhards. So what we're gonna have to do, set out on a boat. Episode eight, guys, episode eight. Okay, I'm probably gonna try and head that way. I mean, it's almost nighttime. Should I carry a bed? Nah, we'll be fine. All right, guys, so as you can tell, I'm having a lot of fun rowing my boat. Nope, mobs. Can someone sleep? Isn't, no one's online. I'm really eating my words when I said, um, everything will be fine. Well, guess what? I'm staying in water. Let's just hope there aren't any drowns. Ooh, sugar cane, that's nice. And I'm chilling. I am really chilling. Spider, why, why would you go inside the, where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, okay, great. No, yeah, yeah, awesome. The skeleton didn't even think twice before jumping into the water to shoot me. Dead end, let's go. Guys, it's okay, I'm a master of PVP. Husk, you're nothing for me, you're nothing. All right guys, first priority has changed from finding a village to sleeping. What am I gonna do? Do I just dig down and stay out the night? Oh, there's a ruined portal there. Uh, guys, is there any chance there's like beds in ruined portals? Cause I would love that. So many mobs though. So many mobs. Okay guys, I think we might have to do the whole strat. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Oh, I can get the diamond block this time. No, the, I can get the gold block this time. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Why does it gotta be this way? Why? Why? Always? Why can I never... 
think. Why can I never be smart? I had an iron pick in my inventory. I had a diamond pick in my inventory and I chose to mine a gold block with a gold pick. I mean, you would think it makes sense because they're both go- Oh yes, village. I did not see a village. We got insanely lucky. Okay, okay, there's like creepers here and stuff. Uh, I need to find- Okay, guys, 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 we're doing it. We're using the Curse of Vanish Vanishing Shovel. Um, uh, gold block. Torch. Done. Best strat. Best strat there is. Whole. Oh, I'm just gonna stay here until night passes. I missed my jukebox. I wish I got my jukebox with me. What did I ever do to you? Hello darkness, my old friend. Hey right, guys, it's been like so long. It feels like it's been forever. No, the mobs are still there. It's been like super long. I think I, I think the night just started when I came here because it's been like a super, super long time. Uh, it's probably, it can't be, have been more than 10 minutes. <laughs> yes, yes, it looks nice. Much nicer out there now. A lot less mobs. There's probably still gonna be creepers out there though. Oh wait, no! What? Did God save me? Jesus. Was that you? I think I stared at the sky for too long. That he gave me a blessing. A second chance. At life. Couldn't be more grateful. Well, whatever that was, um, it's time to head. The whole strat always works. If ever in doubt, dig a hole and uh, cover yourself up. How are we gonna take the villagers back though? Ooh, hay bales. Baby husk, no. After that blessing, you are not going to be the enemy. How am I losing this? That baby husk almost killed me. Those things are more dangerous than the ender dragon. That's more damage than I took taking down the ender dragon. Yeah, that baby husk could have been the end of me. Salute to Mr. Island Golem. Um, you could have saved me from the baby husk, but you didn't. Rethink your life choices, man. I am not mining anything with a gold pickaxe ever again. You know what, gold pickaxe, you can go die. I'm gonna get it. No. All right, guys, so now we know where our village is. That's progress. That's big progress. I think I'm gonna journey back home now. Cause I mean, at least I know where the village is now. It's, it's not very far from home either. Okay, well anyway, I'll see you back home. All right guys, so I'm back home now and I have, I didn't show you what I did s since the last episode. I made a massive sugarcane coastline. I made a composter bone meal farm. Uh, so I just put in the wheat seeds over here and then it goes, through this hopper into the composter, which turns them into bone meal. So after I harvest, I just put all the seeds in there. Oh, there's 10 bone meal here right now. I spent three diamonds on a diamond pickaxe out of the 10 that I had last episode. Yes, the diamond chest plate was kind of breaking and I didn't want it to break before I got mending. So I took it off and I have six diamonds left over. Now you might wonder what happened to the set, the, the one diamond. It's inside of here. I don't know what's inside these things for them to cost a diamond, but 100% worth it. Best investment of diamonds ever. I'm still a bit bummed about this whole, I mean, bro, take your ugly mountain. Um, uh, I couldn't care less. I guess it's fine. I mean, people are colonizing this area anyway. There's a lot of people just very close to spawn, very close to my area. So I am probably gonna move out of here. I'm just gonna leave my farms here, leave my chests here, um, leave everything here, leave my shop here, and then just move out. I got... <laughs> floating bread, and floating chests, and floating furnaces. You saw it here first. Just a floating base. One block off the ground. Awesome. Only on PP Craft, guys. Only on PP Craft. I really need a better food source. I'm just doing this for the leather at the moment. I had like 30 leather, but then I sold it all for money. Wait, how much money? But guys, priorities. I need to get all the music discs. All of them. Literally all of them. Music disc, cat, music disc, block. How, wh wh which other ones do I have left? I can get the others by just making skeletons kill creepers, right? And then there's like a pick step one that I have to get from a bastion or how that works. I just missed a, why do I miss water bucket clutches? Always on camera, like never, 
Never when I'm just playing alone. I, I never bit miss a water bucket clutch. You know what? I, actually, let's go again. Let, let, let's settle this. One cent for all. Only gonna be like four blocks high, but can I do it? I did it. Why, what am I doing still using the caveman way to go up this mountain? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the stairs. I brought this mountain down three layers to make a flatter area for me to make a base on. And this is what I get repaid with. Psych, it's not your mountain anymore. You know what? You can keep here. You can keep your ugly ass mountain. I didn't need it in any way. Why do I? I should just stop trying. I don't know what to say, guys. Pretty depressed about this whole mountain situation. I'm gonna venture all the way down into my cave and then, and then mine some obsidian. We didn't even have a time lapse this episode. Like, how sad can this episode get? Anyway, I'm gonna take care of this, uh, light this whole area up again. All right, guys, so quick update. I am lost in my own mind as if this episode, I found it. Yes, I am not lost anymore. I can probably go down to my strip mine to the caves that I found last. Guys, another loot chest. I can always do with some more torches and a golden apple. I got a zombified cleric's head. Uh, okay, whatever. Another loot chest. Name tags, I could always do with some. Bread, why not? Redstone, yes please. This, I, oh my God. No freaking way. You're kidding me. This has got to be a great find. Damn. I am proud of myself and my getting lost skills. Now I can just note down these coordinates and we'll be great. Should I build an XP farm? Should I just build an XP farm? Like right this, guys, this depressing episode is not, is that another loot chest that I haven't seen? Or have I seen this one? Another name tag. I mean, to be honest, the only bad thing that happened was um, me losing the mountain base idea. But we found a village, a spider spawner. That's a great find. Early game. I am proud of me. All right, guys, time lapse time. Welcome back from that amazing time lapse. I really hope you liked it because I spent a long time on it and the design didn't exactly work out. I just had to extend it into a three wide alleyway instead of the seven or eight wide that I had before. But after I did that, it worked out quite nicely. And the cave spider has it. It's okay, this is, this is happening. I don't know if there's a fix for it or something. And I still have the shaders on, they look pretty good. We really turned it around this episode. I was really thinking that this episode wasn't gonna be that much fun or it wasn't gonna be that good, but we really turned it around. So kudos to me. Now I know this area doesn't look very beautiful, but I don't plan on making this my main farm anyway, because I don't want this to be my main source of XP. It's not, it's just not fast enough and it can never be. I want the Enderman farm to be my main source of XP because that is insanely fast and that's not coming for a while. Oh my god, this is what the spiders see when I'm just killing them. Well, this is also what you're gonna see when I'm saying goodbye because this, well, this is goodbye. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you in episode nine.